<laughs> Damn. What's up guys, it's Caleb. So I'm bringing you guys along today because I've done a bit of a citrus haul of lemons and limes. These are the ones that I got from my mum's place, except for this little guy was from my own place. And over here I've got ones that I ordered from a really cool orchard up in Auckland. So let me open these up and we'll take out the lemons and limes and get into tasting um, all the different types and just talking a little bit about them. We've got some really cool varieties to show you guys today. <laughs> Damn. Check those out. Those are awesome. Oh crap. Such cool lemons. And we got some other limes right here. The first one I wanted to start with is these ones here, which don't look like something that's very cool, but they're very unique. These are called lemonades, and these ones you can just peel. And these were originally found as a chance seedling growing actually here in New Zealand. And so probably not hugely known in a lot of places but they really should be because they are honestly my probably my favorite citrus ever, which is why I'm starting with them because I really want to show you guys these. All right, so now that I've peeled them, you can see that they're just, uh, they just look like a regular lemon, but you can just pull the segments apart really easily. Just like that. And just eat them straight like that. These are really, really tasty. They have a really nice tang to them but they're not sour, so they're really low acid. So they're not like a normal lemon at all, really, because of how sweet they are. But they do still have that really nice lemony tang to them. You can see as well that the little juice vesicles are quite sort of individual, and they're quite rigid as well, so they don't really like fall apart and become really juicy or anything like that. But it is still a juicy fruit. It just means that they kind of pop less easily, which gives it a really nice sort of crunchy texture. And also they're not really messy to eat either because, you know, they don't just drip juice everywhere at all because the juice is contained within each of those little vesicles. If you haven't tried these before, I'd recommend, you know, trying them, get your hands on some of them, or better yet, get your hands on a tree. I've got three trees growing of these because I like them so much. So yeah, one of my absolute favorite citrus. So good. So we've got these two lemons as well. So this is a lemon Maya, which you may be familiar with. It's got that really golden skin to it, and that's because it's crossed with a more cold hardy citrus like a mandarin. So it grows in some more colder areas than other lemons. And then this one over here is a yenben, which is an improved selection from the Lisbon variety. And so you can see here that it's a much lighter skin. This is a true lemon, and this is one that's commercially grown here in New Zealand. It's quite commonly found in stores. And you can see the difference in color. It's quite noticeable. Oh wow, beautiful lemon. The lemon wire definitely has a more golden coloured flesh compared to the sort of lighter yellow of the yenben. Not bad. Definitely still makes your face scrunch up a bit. But we'll try the true lemon, the yenben. Mm. Holy. The yenben is definitely more sour, has that more kind of really sharp lemony taste. So I'm sure these are really great for cooking with and baking with, things like that. And then the lemon Maya has just a slight bit more sweetness and a little bit less sourness compared to this one. But yeah, both really great fruits. And if you live in a more cold region, then these are probably the better ones to grow. But yeah, either way, both good lemon varieties. All right, next up, the Ponderosa lemon. And check these out, they are such incredible looking fruit. And these are actually a hybrid of pomelo and citron. So really cool looking fruit. They're said to come from a chance seedling grown in Maryland in the United States. And they're also said to be less cold hardy than a true lemon as well. So you sort of would want to grow them in a slightly warmer area. And anyway, let's cut these open and have a bit of a look. I've been looking forward to seeing the inside. Damn. Check that out. A lot of pith in these guys. You can see, you know, there's a massive amount of pith around the edge with little amounts of fruit on the inside. The skin smells really sweet as well. But let's give it a taste. Quite a few seeds as well there, as you can see. So we'll flick those out. All right, here goes. So the flavor of these definitely does resemble a lemon. I would say they're probably in between the sourness of a lemon Maya and a lemon yenben. They're not quite as sour as those, but they are still pretty sour and quite a similar color flesh as well with that whiter look. You could definitely use these, you know, just in place of lemon. Kind of interested to see them as a cross section as well. And yeah, looks just like a lemon that way as well. All right, moving on to the limes. These are some key limes. 
and I've sort of ordered these because I wanted to try them out. I haven't really been exposed to key limes much. The ones I usually eat are Tahitian limes or Persian limes, which are a bit bigger than these. And these are said to be more kind of intense flavor as well, more of a sharp flavor. They're also smaller and they've got more seeds in them supposedly as well. The cool thing as well about these is that supposedly these grow true to type and so if you plant the seeds then you will get the same type as the parent plant. And then we've got this one over here which is a lime quat and so this is a cross between a key lime and a kumquat and I grew this just on my tree out the back there and the good thing with these is that they can handle a lot more colder temperatures than a key lime and that's because they are crossed with a kumquat which is a lot more of a cold hardy citrus so yeah quite a cool cute little fruit. So side by side they look quite similar except for the size. They both have a really thin skin which is a common trait of the key lime. So we'll start with these key limes here, I'll just get the seed out. Oh! Damn, that is sour. <laughs> Don't know what else I expected. Really, really sort of sharp and acidic in flavour. And then these uh, lime quats here, the cool thing about them, I did cut it open just to show a cross section, but you can eat them just whole. And it's supposed to be quite a sweet skin. Maybe we'll start with just eating a piece of the skin just to see. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the skin's not bad. It has a bit of sweetness to it. It doesn't have really any bitterness like you'd expect for a citrus skin. So yeah, I guess just a bit like a kumquat. Anyway, I'll try it all together. Mm. It's actually pretty good. It's not as intense as I expected. It's still, it's still sour though, like don't get me wrong, but it's not as sour as the key lime. I do tend to like sour fruits though, so I could eat that, but it's not something that you'd sit down and eat a whole plate full. You might eat one and then you'd be all soured out. <laughs> but yeah, still good. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty sour though. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the last fruit. These are makrut limes. And I've got a leaf here to show you as well because they've got these really distinguishable kind of double lobed leaves. And these are what they tend to be grown for mostly. The fruit are not for fresh eating at all and that's why I saved it for last because I am going to taste this but I think it's going to probably burn my taste buds off. You can use the rind and the juice in curries and things like that. Some people also use them as shampoo so they'll like cut them open and then they'll wash their hair with them which I thought was quite interesting. It's supposed to get rid of head lice as well. And as well as that you can use them in like household cleaners. Even if you sort of just like squeeze the skin slightly a lot of liquid or oils come out and a lot of scent as well so they're really really fragrant smelling limes so anyway let's cut one of these open i'm probably going to regret tasting this i've actually never tried makut lime before yeah i'm not sure if this is a good idea but cheers <laughs> Oh man, that's sour but it's got a lot more than just sourness, man my mouth is watering. They have this aftertaste to them which sort of took about 10 seconds or so to kick in but actually it reminds me a little bit of Sichuan pepper where it has that kind of numbing heat. Yeah your mouth sort of heats up, it kind of goes tingly and a little bit numb. These probably aren't even as strong either as how you usually see them with the more darker green skin. Because these have been sitting on the tree so long they've gone yellow and probably less intense in flavour but even so they are yeah pretty intense uh, taste. So yeah I wouldn't recommend eating them. You can sort of probably use the juice in a few different things, maybe in baking um, but I would imagine you'd only use a much smaller amount because of how strong flavour they are. I do have some other citrus varieties that I want to share with you guys as well so I'll do that in next week's video so stay tuned for that one but yeah if you enjoyed this one make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and also let me know down in the comments what your favourite citrus is. I want to grow some other varieties here so looking out for some other cool varieties. Anyway guys thanks heaps for watching and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Alright bye guys.